Ciao e benvenuti! Hello and welcome to our monastery, the contemplative community of Our Lady of Bonaria. We are located in Sardinia, Italy. Sardinia is the second largest island in the Mediterranean Sea, just after Sicily. Our sisters were founded on the 1st of June in 2019. It happened to be a first Saturday that year. We have as our intention, a great intention, to implore the mercy of God against the evils that weigh upon humanity. This intention was taken from the papal encyclical written by St. Pope John Paul II in 1980, 1980 Divis in Misericordia, Rich in Mercy. A great saint of the Divine Mercy has always been known as St. Faustina Kowalska. In 1931, she received a vision from our Lord. She writes in her diary, in the evening, when I was in my cell, I saw the Lord. One hand was raised in the gesture of blessing. The other was touching the garment at the level of the heart. She gazed at our Lord. Her soul was struck in silence, but also with great joy. He said to her, Paint an image according to the pattern you see. With the signature, Jesus, I trust in you. I desire that this image be venerated, first in your chapel, and then throughout the world. I promise that the soul that will venerate this image will not perish. I also promise victory over its enemies already here on earth, especially at the hour of death. I myself will defend it as my own glory. Our Lord speaks to her one day and says, My gaze from this image is like my gaze from the cross. I am offering people a vessel with which they are to keep coming for graces to the fountain of mercy. That vessel is this image with the signature, Jesus, I trust in you. Our community has the great grace of having a copy of the original image of the divine mercy. The original image was kept in Vilnius in Lithuania. You have all already probably noticed that this image is quite different than the well-known image that currently hangs in Poland in the convent of the Sisters of Our Lady of Mercy. After St. Faustina died, the original image was kept in Vilnius, in the capital of Lithuania, and then another image was asked to be repainted. So what are the differences? We'll go from the top to the bottom. The first is the gaze of our Lord. He's looking down as he tells Jesus, in this image, we see that he's looking down at us from the cross. His gaze is on us but from the cross. The second is his hand, his gesture in the form of, of a blessing. Jesus blesses us, but begins at the level of his heart. The third are the rays. In this image, the original image of the divine mercy, they're more pronounced, they're more potent. You can see that from the darker background. It helps us be able to see Jesus, our true light. And lastly, is more of a fun fact, and something that the original artist, Mr. Eugene Kosmorowski, probably, definitely could not have done. It's that when we place this image of the Divine Mercy over the image of the Holy Shroud, or rather, if we place the Holy Shroud over this original image of the Divine Mercy, it's almost an exact match. The face, the head, the shoulders of our Lord particularly, are identical with the Holy Shroud. In addition to venerating the image of the Divine Mercy, our Lord asked St. Faustina to recite the Divine Mercy Chaplet. The chaplet was dictated to Sister Faustina by the Lord Jesus himself in Vilnius on the vigil and feast day of the Exaltation of the Cross on the 13th and 14th of September in 1935 as a prayer of atonement and for the appeasement of God's wrath. When we recite this chaplet, we offer to God the Father, the body and blood, soul and divinity of Jesus Christ an atonement for our sins, the sins of our loved ones, and those of the entire world. On one occasion, Jesus said to St. Faustina that by saying the chaplet, you are bringing humankind closer to me. And that's why we're here. So we together, as our community, we pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet at three o'clock each day in the afternoon, as Jesus asked us to do. One way our community helps to spread the message of Divine Mercy is through WhatsApp. We have several different groups in WhatsApp according to the different languages. 
Spanish, Italian, Portuguese, and English. Each day, our community sends out a message related to the theme of Divine Mercy, with the goal to help others increase their knowledge of Divine Mercy, and therefore increase our trust. We hope to have great trust in Divine Mercy. If you're interested in joining one of these groups and you have WhatsApp, we've placed the links according to the several languages in the description below this video. Thank you for praying for us. Know that we are praying for you too. And thank you for participating in this novena to the Most Holy Trinity. May God bless you all. Oración. Trinidad Santísima, Beata y Beatificante, haz dichosos a tus hijos e hijas que has llamado a confesar la grandeza de tu amor, de tu bondad misericordiosa y de tu belleza. Padre Santo, santifica a los hijos e hijas que se han consagrado a ti para la gloria de tu nombre. Acompáñalos con tu poder para que puedan dar testimonio de que tú eres el origen de todo, la única fuente del amor y la libertad. Te damos gracias por el don de la vida consagrada, que te busca en la fe, y en su misión universal invita a todos a caminar hacia ti. Jesús Salvador, Verbo Encarnado, así como has dado tu forma de vivir a quienes has llamado, continúa atrayendo hacia ti personas que, para la humanidad de nuestro tiempo, sean depositarias de misericordia, anuncio de tu retorno, y signo viviente de los bienes de la resurrección futura. Ninguna tribulación los separe de ti y de tu amor. Espíritu Santo, amor derramado en los corazones, que concedes gracia e inspiración a las mentes, fuente perenne de vida, que llevas la misión de Cristo a su cumplimiento con numerosos carismas, te rogamos por todas las personas consagradas. Colma su corazón con la íntima certeza de haber sido escogidas para amar, alabar y servir. Haz que gusten de tu amistad, Llénalas de tu alegría y de tu consuelo. Ayúdalas a superar los momentos de dificultad y a levantarse con confianza tras las caídas. Haz que sean espejo de la belleza divina. Dales el arrojo para hacer frente a los retos de nuestro tiempo y la gracia de llevar a los hombres la benevolencia y la humanidad de nuestro Salvador Jesucristo. Amén. <música>